Welcome back to your daily dose of weather geekiness. We call it Weather for Weather Geeks. We've been doing this video now for about five years. I think I debuted this around the spring of 2013. I became the chief meteorologist in January of uh, 2013 here at uh, WFMJ. And I think a few months later, I really started making this a regular kind of a deal. So we're coming up probably on the five year anniversary of the Valley's most in-depth geeky nerdy weather video. We also, uh, you know, we call it weather for weather geeks aimed towards people who are really into the weather but i also take this opportunity to you know really get in depth with the forecast in a way that i can't on tv or even on social media and a lot of people who aren't even weather geeks uh, i i think uh should hopefully find that pretty useful all right i recorded this video a little after seven this evening at that point we had picked up a fair amount of rain uh, over the last several hours a third of an inch even uh four tenths of an inch uh, along the 224 corridor Amounts get a little lower off to the north and to the south. The uh, steadiest and heaviest of the rains have been kind of aimed at uh, parts of Mahoning County over the last uh, couple of hours. This was the radar at 7.06 in the evening. Still some steady rain uh, around Mahoning County and over into Lawrence County. Uh, not much more than drizzle once you're north of I-80. And then some steady light rain for a lot of Columbiana County uh, early this evening at a little after 7 o'clock. Zooming out and taking a look at the broader uh, picture here, this is a six-hour radar loop. You'll notice if you look carefully here, there was some uh, thunder and lightning earlier on this evening across southern Ohio and into parts of West Virginia as well. Even a couple of stray lightning strikes up in northern Ohio uh, around the Cleveland area earlier on. Uh, we're not expecting any thunder and lightning here overnight. Probably just some drizzle at times overnight. Uh, we have probably just about seen the heaviest of the rain. The rain will be more of a threat for flooding, especially along rivers that are all iced up in parts of southwest PA, down into southern Ohio, into West Virginia. Uh, locally, of course, ice jams will start to become a concern on some of the rivers as we head into the, the warmer pattern over the next several days. But rainfall totals here will not be as high as they will be to the uh, south. So our steady rain pushes away this evening. We're left with just spots of drizzle, kind of murky weather, maybe a little fog overnight into tomorrow morning. So as the kids get on the bus in the morning, you head off to work, it might be you know drizzling. Not much more than that, though. I think the best part of tomorrow will be right around lunchtime. We get into this dry slot. Now it's still going to be pretty cloudy, but with the lack of rain here, that will allow temperatures to rise really nicely. We've got 60 in the forecast for tomorrow afternoon. The record tomorrow is 63. But the rain's going to push right back in. The timing on this is fairly similar to when the rain arrived today, in that it's late afternoon, early in the evening. It's going to start to rain once again. Some of this could be briefly heavy. And then uh, scattered showers through the overnight. Uh, again, the reason why there's a flood watch to our south is the steadier, heavier rains likely to linger down there longer into Thursday night than for our area. The front, uh, a little faster looking on the modeling today, so I think uh, the cold air is already here by daybreak on Friday morning. We're probably in the mid-30s, and that'll be as warm as it'll get all day. Temperatures will fall. Uh, snow showers and flurries for a couple of hours. Don't think this adds up to much at all. Uh, no big deal. The bigger deal, the higher impacts on Friday. Certainly the wind and the cold after a high of 60 tomorrow. Wind chills will be in the teens Friday afternoon, so a quick return to winter. And then we'll probably see some clearing of the sky late in the day on Friday, leading to a clear and cold Friday night as high pressure builds across. Then as we head into the weekend, we're going to keep a close eye on this moisture. Uh, and uh, for a little more on that, uh, this is the graphic I put together today. Uh, now this will be a fast-moving, fairly weak wave of low pressure that's going to track something like this. And that is likely to bring some accumulating snow, not a big snowstorm, but probably enough to shovel in places such as probably Harrisburg and maybe as far south as Baltimore, D.C., State College, Altoona, Williamsport, PA, New York City, Boston. Might be kind of close to the rain snow line there, but uh, this far to the west, I suspect it tries to snow a little bit Saturday night, but I don't think it's going to be much. It's likely under couple of inches. Uh, really think the impacts will be fairly minimal. It's coming in the middle of the night. I think the sun's going to be out most of Sunday and so whatever accumulates Saturday night and again it's probably under a couple of inches is going to melt pretty quickly on Sunday. So we're looking for low impacts from whatever snow we pick up Saturday night. This is a look at the uh, European ensemble modeling odds of an inch or more worth of snow. Our region kind of in right through here and if you look carefully on the legend that's probably 20 to 30 to maybe 40 percent. Those are the odds of one inch or more worth of snow, so they're not real big odds, even of just an inch. The odds really increase as you head off to the uh, east. So again, not looking for big impacts. I've been uh, asked a lot lately on social media when I've been talking about the longer range 
uh, the warmth that's coming uh, over the next couple of weeks, probably right through the end of February. Does that mean winter's over? In our area, I would never proclaim winter to be over this early in the season. It's only February 14th. We've got a lot of winter left to go. And March around these parts is notorious for, you know, kind of being a tease. Sometimes we get fake spring in late February, and we had this last year. I wanted to draw your attention to last March. You know, February was the warmest on record. It looks like winter was done. Stick a fork in it. But winter did come back in March. Look at some of these cold nights with lows in the teens. And it was a pretty snowy month. We picked up, uh, over here is the snow total for the month, 20.1 inches of snow in March last year. You know, including a couple of decent storms. Here's a 5 to 6 inch storm right around the middle of the month. A couple of inches here and there early in the month. A 5.9 inch storm on March 3rd. That was only about a week after it was 75 degrees. So, yeah, you know, March is still winter around here, really, even though meteorological winter ends on March 1st and astronomical winter uh, ends in the middle of March, you know, around here, you know, it's it might as well still be winter because it can still get cold and snow. This is a look at the snowiest marches on record. 1993, the Superstorm year, uh, takes the cake at 31 inches, but eighth place right there, last March, 20.1 inches of snow. So, no, winter is not over despite the warmth that is uh, very, very likely over the next couple of weeks. It may even continue into the first handful of days of March, but our confidence in the pattern beyond that goes down. We're gonna start focusing more on March's forecast as a whole over the next uh, 10 days to two weeks as we get into the second half of February. Right now, I don't have a strong feeling on March as a whole. I do think it's likely to start fairly mild though but that does not necessarily mean that winter is over that is for sure thanks for checking out tonight's weather for weather geeks i'll see you tonight after our olympic coverage you know, along the air probably about 11 40 or so too late <laughs> love the olympics but makes for some late nights for us here at 21 news all right everyone have a great wednesday night